Call of Duty released a brand new trailer cutscene today for the Operation Monarch event, which is starting tomorrow for Warzone and Vanguard on May 11th. And we have a brand new blog post that I will leave linked in this video's description that details exactly how this event is going to work, and I want to go through everything in this video. So we have a deep dive into surviving the MonsterVerse limited time mode inspired by Godzilla vs Kong. Two titans ready to lay siege on Caldera during Operation Monarch. The monster of all battles is here. From May 11th to May 25th, Warzone operators can stand toe to toe with Kong and Godzilla in the Operation Monarch limited time mode. So this is going to be a separate playlist from the regular Battle Royale so it doesn't disrupt the normal Warzone experience. And it shares the name with the Operation Monarch event which offers rewards for participating in matches collecting Monarch intel, completing challenges and even buying limited time Monsterverse bundles inspired by Godzilla and Kong. Operation Monarch is a true celebration of the Monsterverse and Godzilla vs Kong within Call of Duty. Those who already got their hands on classified arms in Warzone and Vanguard know how massive the stakes are. Monarch is counting on us to help them quell these monstrous forces. So let's go over all of the intel on exactly how this event works and how to survive within it. So Titan's Tale of the Tape, Kong and Godzilla. Despite fighting in battles across multiple continents, COD operators never faced two colossal threats like Godzilla and Kong before. And despite popular belief, these two creatures are our allies against a greater threat. Neither Kong nor Godzilla are villains, said Sam Rappaport, a legendary's director of interactive media who hopes these two monsters can help shore up his scary KD ratio. The Monsterverse has Protector and Destroyer Titans, each with a biological imperative to battle for dominance. While we do not see these ancient rivals go toe to toe in Godzilla vs Kong, both are considered Protector Titans, however when provoked by other Titans or humans, there is no stopping their range. In case either of these Titans are enraged in a frenzy, you will need to know the following. For the Monarch designation Godzilla, his scientific classification is Titanus Godzilla. His height is 393 feet, his attacks are a heat ray breath, a tail swipe and dorsal slice, his tail length is 582 feet, his top tail swipe speed is 89 miles per hour, his underwater cruising speed is 40 to 50 knots, his volume of roar is up to 174 decibels, he has a blood volume of 530,000 gallons, his tensile strength of bone is 3,000 megapascals, his heat ray energy yield is 315 trillion joules, the king of monsters has risen from the darkest depths of the ocean to unleash his devastating breath and thunderous roar on unsuspecting shores. No one, not even the secretive monster defense agency Monarch, knows why Godzilla is so enraged and attacking cities around the world. His latest target is Caldera, patrolling around the island and using his heat ray breath haphazardly. This deadly beam of energy appears as several red circles on your minimap after it lights up Godzilla's scales with an icy blue glow, just like a precision airstrike. It is best to avoid his line of fire, although he does not purposefully target operators. Those who accidentally end up in his destructive path will have mere seconds before getting blasted. So yeah, Kong and Godzilla are not foes, and the whole point of the Godzilla and Kong movies were to show that the humans were the enemies, they were the bad guys, and they're not purposefully trying to come after us, but clearly we're coming in the way of whatever's going on here on Caldera. Now moving on to Kong, and he looks extremely scary in this image. His scientific classification is Titanus Kong, he's 337 feet, his known attacks are Quake Slam, a Fin Breaker, and an Aerial Axe Slash. His punch strength is approximately 4.2 on the Richter scale, his tensile strength of a bone is 2,800 megapascals, his volume of roar is up to 170 decibels, his top arm swing length is 62 miles per hour, his top bipedal running speed is 78 miles per hour, his top quadruple running speed is 104 miles per hour, his preferred diet is foliage, bamboo, and Maya squid. The ruler of Skull Island is now all powerful, his strength forged in the fire of combat after decades of defending his territory from nature's most dangerous creatures, Kong has developed an epic brawler fight style using quick feet, aerial traversal, and sheer feral strength to confuse and disorientate his opponents. Although his main domain is Skull Island, Kong is here on Caldera. Is he here to defend the island from Godzilla, or did Godzilla sense him arriving in Caldera first as the true aggressor? No matter the explanation as to why he is here alongside Godzilla, Kong will leap and jump around the island. His patterns could be considered predictable, but figuring out where he could land requires further on-the-ground research from operators. Kong does not mean to completely crush vehicles and operators underneath his feet. With that said, merely brushing against Kong can put you in a down state, so keeping a safe distance from him is a major key to survival. Remember, Monarch's organizational mission is discovery and defense in the time of monsters. Our goal is to fight alongside these monsters and live in harmony with them, and through the Operation Monarch mode, operators can find a way to use their abilities to aid in their own survival. Now let's go over exactly how the Operation Monarch limited time 
mode is going to work. So, jumping into it, from the initial drop to the final circle, what can operators expect in the Operation Monarch limited time mode? Firstly, you're advised to have a full quad team. It will be a 60 player match with a resurgence rule set, so you'll be able to respawn back in and it's going to make things a lot more fun. A smaller section of Caldera will be marked for the first safe area and outside of one massive twist. The rules are simple, be the last team standing. On the ground, players will find Monarch intel via supply boxes, special drops and fallen enemies. Use this to charge a special meter that unlocks items such as killstreaks and loadout drops, along with a unique and powerful titan killstreak reward for filling it up completely. Warzone veterans will be familiar with this special meter through the classical power grab limited time mode. While collecting intel and eliminating enemies, operators will need to watch out for Kong and Godzilla. Dealing damage to them will award additional monarch intel, and while they usually don't get too aggressive, they will be dangerous during a Titan Frenzy. So what is a Titan Frenzy you may ask? At the beginning of an Operation Monarch match and at another point during it, Kong and Godzilla may become enraged and recklessly attack. This is known as a Titan Frenzy. After receiving a Titan Frenzy alert, an operator who has two options, tactically withdraw, aka run away from these dangerous creatures, or attempt to suppress them by dealing direct damage. The squad who deals the most damage to either Kong or Godzilla during a Titan Frenzy will automatically receive Monarch's special screen device. Runners up will still earn Monarch Intel to count towards their special Intel meter whose final reward is a screen device. And I'll go over exactly how the screen device works in a second, but first of all I want to let you know that this video has been kindly sponsored by Reveil, which is a narrative first person psycho thriller game that focuses on story, puzzles and exploration. Find out what's going on inside Walter Thompson and what his dark past at the Nelson Bros Circus has to do with it. The game releases next year but you can add it to your Steam wishlist in the meantime via the link in the description. It's a unique, visually appealing, mentally challenging story with versatile puzzles, unanswered questions, confusing clues and a disturbing psyche demanding a lot from both the player and the protagonist, Walter Thompson. You wake up, you're disorientated, your head hurts, things seem surreal yet familiar. Your wife Martha and your daughter Dory are not there. Looking for answers, you explore your environment and fragments of memories. On your journey, you are repeatedly confronted with riddling tasks driven by the desire to find out what is going on. The only thing that keeps you from giving up is the will to find Martha and Dory. Do not shut your eyes to the hints left by the two, but keep them wide open and try not to lose your mind. Jumping back to what is the Scream device, this is going to allow us to control Godzilla and Kong, the Titan Scream device, which stands for Titan Sonic Communication Radar, and Echo Location Array Module is a prototypical device developed by Monarch that lets operators unleash the awesome power of Godzilla and Kong in battle. In Operation Monarch, the Scream device is a killstreak that grants its users one of two powers from the Titans, a Heat Ray Breath from Godzilla, or a Ground Pound from Kong. Once the attack type is chosen, the operator can direct it towards anyone on Caldera to avoid a barrage of attacks and to protect the sensory nerves of our protector titans. Multiple scream devices cannot be used in rapid succession. Like any other killstreak, timing and location are two major factors in its effectiveness. During this event, by the way, there will be vehicles and planes are returning back to Caldera and it does seem like we're actually going to be able to ride these planes into Godzilla and Kong themselves. And to give further details on how this scream device is going to work, there are these monoliths around the map by the coast that there's a bunch of monoliths which are for Godzilla, and near and around peaks are monoliths with King Kong's handprint on. So you'll use this device and that is where Kong or Godzilla will go to. I can't wait to try out this kill streak, and I will be having videos on how to play this mode and be victorious when it releases tomorrow. Next up, in terms of how the limited time event is going to work, because there's various different unlocks you can get for doing challenges. So besides the glory of surviving a battle royale against two titans, the limited time mode ties directly to the Operation Monarch limited time event. So this event contains eight challenges. Complete all eight, receive a special ancient rivalry maximum rifle blueprint. So yeah, this event is going to function just like the prior events where there's going to be a mini battle pass type thing where you just have to complete challenges to unlock rewards. So first of all, if you play Operation Monarch for six hours, you get an epic ancestral skull charm. If you use a Kong or Godzilla killstreak once, you get a rare ancient remains charm. If you use a Kong or Godzilla killstreak three times, you get a rare monarch 
Demonic Eyes Only Charm. If you deal 500,000 damage to Titans, you get a rare Concrete Jungle sticker. If you deal 135,000 total damage to Kong in Titan Frenzy events, you get the legendary Team Godzilla Emblem. And if you deal 135,000 total damage to Godzilla in Titan Frenzy events, you get the legendary Team Kong Emblem. If you collect 3,000 Monarch Intel, you get a epic Skyline Crasher calling card. If you place in the top 15 12 times in the Operation Monarch limited time mode, you get an epic One Will Fall spray. There are some additional rewards for participation though, so Monarch is also giving out rewards just by playing the Operation Monarch mode and braving the Titan Frenzy in-game event. While these challenges are separate to the 8 needed to unlock the Ancient Rivalry, they still reward charms, calling cards and player titles. Rumour has it that Monarch has a few secret rewards for the brave or just plain reckless, so experiment with both monsters and see what you can find. Once again, tomorrow, once we find these secret rewards, I'll have a video showcasing them all and how to unlock them. In addition to this, we're going to be getting some new tracer packs in the store. So we've already had Godzilla release, which you can see on screen. We're then going to have the King Kong tracer pack release that comes with his battle axe too. And finally, we're going to have the Mecha Godzilla limited time bundle too. That will all be upon us very shortly. You can also get three exclusive MonsterVerse calling cards for completely free if you head to monsterverse.com and enter your email, preferably the one that is linked to your Activision account. And you can go ahead and claim them to rock either Team Godzilla or Team Kong or the Monarch one. Finally, the blog post has a recap of five crucial tips in how to play this upcoming mode and event. Number one, map around the monsters. The attack map shows current monster positions, while the minimap shows their area of attack. Check these often, especially during Titan Frenzy events. Two, scavenge for intel. The Titan Frenzy event isn't the only way to earn a scream device. Watch out for intel supply drops and be sure to open supply boxes and scavenge enemy bodies for additional intel, which can add up to kill streaks, loadout drops, and other scream device. Three, remember, resurgence rules. Being eliminated during Operation Monarch does not necessarily mean death. If your squad mates are down due to enemies or monsters, stay alive until they redeploy. I'm glad that this is a resurgence mode and not regular battle royale. Number four, high capacity, high damage. Kong and Godzilla may never die, but you better believe that they will take tons of damage from a weapon with a large magazine and damage per second. Consider planning your loadout for max damage capacity if your squad is aiming to win a Titan Frenzy or look around for some conveniently placed heavy weaponry. And finally, number five, strike then scream. Participating in the Titan Frenzy events is one of the quickest ways to get a scream device. Keep targeting either monster to get rewards and consider saving them until the final circles for maximum damage. Rise on every front. With that being said, that's everything to know about this Operation Monarch event. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and your Activision IDs if you need people to play with to get a full squad for tomorrow. And just a quick reminder that this video has been kindly sponsored by Reveal. I will leave a link to it down in this video's description. Thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.